Hello folks, we're going to take a look at quickly doing an upgrade of the vault. So we've got the vault primary vault here, then we're going to look at doing the upgrade. I've copied all the stuff across to the, to the CPM, so we're going to log on. So we're going to log on. Okay, it's disconnecting us there. So we can copy our stuff across, we need to Find a safe software inside keys. So go to properties 100 megs. So we've got our software on our desktop. So we need to copy software across. So let's go have a look what we need. So we need the server. And in our lab, we can generally take everything, put it in to your vault, so you can copy your files to your vault server. Let that copy across, and once that's done, we can then log on to the vault server. Okay, I'll close this, log off. Our PBWA will have blocked us off because you saw that logon message earlier. So now we can go to the vault, unlock our vault server. Okay, here we go. Where's our vault server? It's running. Log on. And password. Here we go, great password. Get our software safe. So click that, click that, click that, click that. Click. Retrieve and save as. We can download that to downloads, save it to our downloads directory. Retrieving the files now. It's almost finished. There we go. Let's go up, close our safe, log off, go to our directory now, downloads directory, we've got our safe, install it, extract all. There we go. So you will have ensured you've got your backup first. Make sure your replication is running before you start. Make sure your backups have been running. Make sure your data is correct. So if you've got your CPM, you can then go to your CPM task manager. There. Tasks. Let's go to backup, run that. Okay, we go to the backups. Our private rock, replicate, and you should have your logs.
Okay, let's go ahead and run it. See it's not running. It doesn't want to run, so we're going to make it run quickly. So we need to execute that. Okay, it's doing an incremental. We actually need to do a full backup. Okay, there it says generating a full backup. Finish. Let's go back to here and close that. We can go into there. Get ready. Just waiting for this to finish. That's the files we just copied in. Okay, that's the full backup done. So if we go back to the log directory, scroll down, you should see today's date and time, which is great. Close that, close that, close that. Go back to the vault. Now we're going to start up. Now we're going to shut down our vault. Sickness. Shut it down. We're going to go to our services. Yes, we want to do that. To private arc. Refresh. Okay, now let's see. If we go here, we can run as administrator. It's going to pop up a warning about services still running. Okay, you see? Sabok data on the server. Okay, detected Sabok. It's running, close that. Okay, there's our warnings, our Sabok database, database stop, logic controller, there's database logic controller in the remote control agent, stop that, click OK, here we go, refresh, and upgrade to 14.2.2, yes, that's what we want to do. We're going to go, there's a vault in English, yes. Open queue, we'll install all the services, and then hardening at the end again. For this to finish. I have very few resources on these machines currently. Uh, we're very, very restrained on these servers now. Okay, getting there, almost done. Machine's getting quite warm now.
It's almost done. There we go. Let's see, it should be finished soon. Our services that we're going to start a little startup just now. Close to finishing. Finally finished the rabbit in queue. Okay, go. It's upgrading the actual server now. Almost finished. Okay, it's finished. Let's go back into the private doc server. Administrator, start it. Okay. Okay, refresh that. My control agent will start that up manually. Let's go check if the event viewers are started as well. Push that. Can start that up. Okay, there we go. It's all started running. Now I'll go back to the PBWA to log back in here. And log in. Okay, there's our uh, vault server back up and running. So we can log in here as well, just to make sure. It'll log us out again on the GUI portal. And our vault is already stored updated and it's running again okay that will be all for now and i hope you enjoy so we've got evw app running the vault is installed so we can also you can go and check here's our store files PowerDoc server PowerDoc server is us configuration is there, our DB parameters file, our vault TS params files, is our license file. We can also go and check the logs directory. OK. 
go. I can look for any error messages. Not held up failed. Okay, but our LDAP is working now. Now the LDAP is con configured successfully, so it's working. Okay, so that's it.